Summary of the Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini The narrator, Amir, spends his childhood in Kabul, Afghanistan, with his father, Baba, in a luxurious house. They have two Hazara servants, Ali and his son Hassan. Hassan is Amir's best friend and closest playmate. Amir thinks he is a bad son to his father, but he is close to Rahim Khan, who is a friend of Baba's. Hassan and Amir fly kites and read books together. While Amir is at school, Hassan does jobs. Asef, Wali, and Kamal, three boys, threaten Amir one day, but Hassan scares them away with his gun. In the winter, there is a big kite fighting event where boys try to cut each other's kites with lines that have glass on them. When a kite falls, kite runners chase after it. Hassan goes to get the lost kite after Amir wins the competition. When Amir goes to find Hassan, he finds him caught by Asef, Wali, and Kamal in an alley. Hassan is being raped by Asef while Kamal and Wali hold him down. Amir runs away, and Hassan and Amir later act like nothing happened. Soon, Amir and Hassan grow apart. Amir feels terrible about what he did, so he chooses to kick Hassan out of the house. He puts some money under Hassan's mattress and tells Baba that he stole it. Hassan doesn't say anything to change Baba's mind. Hassan is forgiven by Baba, but Ali and Hassan leave the home. In 1981, Baba and Amir have to leave Kabul because the Soviets have taken over the city. They get to Pakistan in the end, and then a few months later, they move to Fremont, California. Baba works at a gas station, and Amir will graduate from high school and then go to college to study writing. Baba and Amir sell things at a flea market. There, Amir starts to notice Saraya, who is the daughter of General Tahari, a friend of Baba's. After waiting a long time, Amir starts to court her. Baba soon finds out that he has lung cancer. Amir asks Baba if he will ask General Tahari if he can marry Saraya. General Tahari says yes, and soon after, Amir and Saraya get married. Baba is happy about Amir's marriage, and a month later he dies. Amir's first book is released, and he and Saraya try, but fail, to have a child. The Soviets are being driven out of Afghanistan at the same time. One day, Rahim Khan calls Amir and tells him he's dying. He wants Amir to come to Pakistan. Rahim Khan tells Amir about how terrible the Taliban and war-torn Kabul are once he gets there. Rahim Khan says he had been watching Baba's house for a while, but then he found Hassan and got him and his wife, Farzana, to come back to Kabul. Farzana had a boy named Sarab after that. Rahim Khan went to Pakistan and found out that the Taliban had killed Hassan and Farzana and sent Sarab to an orphanage. Rahim Khan tells Amir that this is his chance to be good again. He tells Amir to go to Kabul and find Sarab. He also tells Hassan that Baba is his real father. Amir agrees to go, and he finds the shelter where Sarab was meant to be. However, he finds out that a Taliban official took him away a month earlier. Amir and his friend Farid go to a soccer game, where the official they are trying to find kills a man and a woman during break. When Amir meets the official, the man calls Sorab, who has obviously been sexually abused, to his office. The official then says his name is Asef, and he beats Amir with his brass knuckles until Saurabh shoots him in the eye with his gun. Amir and Saurabh get away, and in Pakistan, Amir gets better. Then, Amir asks Saurabh to go back to the US with him, and Saurabh agrees, but not without some hesitation. Amir finds out that he won't be able to adopt Saurabh, and he tells the boy that he might have to go back to a shelter. Saraya figures out how to get Sarab a visa to go to the US, but Amir finds out that Sarab tried to kill himself. Sarab lives, but he stops talking completely. Sarab goes to California with Amir, but he stays quiet and keeps to himself. One day, they are in a park, and some Afghans are flying kites. Amir buys one, and then he and Sarab fight and cut another kite. Sarab smiles, and Amir goes to fly the kite for him. About the author. Khalid Hosseini was born in Afghanistan, where his father worked as a diplomat and his mother was a teacher. When Hosseini was 11, his family went to France. 
Because of the Soviet war, they couldn't go back to Afghanistan. Then, Hosseini's family asked for refuge in the United States. When Hosseini was 15, they moved to California. Hosseini went to medical school at the University of California and worked as a doctor for 10 years, until the success of the Kite Runner allowed him to become a full-time writer. Hosseini didn't go back to Afghanistan until he was 38, just like Amir. The Kite Runner is his first and best-known book. A Thousand Splendid Sons and And the Mountains Echoed are two of his other books. Hosseini, his wife, and two children live in California. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.